This is video number 93 for violin students. And in this video, we are still taking a little break from the E string, um, but continue to practice E string stuff so that when we do go back to it, you're ready for it. Um, last video, we learned whole notes, okay? So now we're gonna actually see whole notes in a song. And we're gonna be playing number 152 in your book. So find number 37, number 152 in your book. Now this song's not gonna be too terribly difficult for you. Um, the hardest thing is gonna be getting the, um, the whole notes to sound good, and then also, remembering your key signature. So look at 152. The C that's there does not stand for C major. You're gonna hear me say this a ton because I really wish the book wouldn't do this because it's so confusing. I had so many kids that think, oh, C means C major. No, C is common time, 4-4 four, four time. Okay, that is the time signature. The fact that there are no sharps in the key signature or no flats, those of you know what flats are, that's what makes it C major. So what does that mean? Look at measure two, look at the last note. That's a low two. Right? That's a low two on the D, because otherwise that'd be an F sharp. We want no F sharps, everything is natural. All right? 152, shadow bow from the beginning. And one, two, shadow bow. <laughs> Stop. Did you do a low two? Don't do this. Bad, 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 F sharp, F natural. Shadow bow again from the beginning, one, to shadow bow, C. Now low two. Stretch the four. One, two, three, four. Now low two, F natural. One, two, three, four. Now low two again, low two. Let's try that much, remembering the low twos. First line only, and one, two, beginning, and go. Similar. In fact, the first four measures are the same. In measure five is the same. Measure six is where it can trick you. Don't let it. Shadow bow, second line. One, two, second line, go. Shadow bow. Now, low two, F natural. Stretch the floor. Now, back over to E. Tay, two tay, three tay, four tay, one tay, off. That last note ends up being five counts. One, two, three, four, plus one. All right? You shouldn't count to five. You should count one, two, three, four, one. Okay, here's what I want you to play. Play the last four measures of the song. So a second line, measure five. Play that with me, not echoing, with me. One, you should be looking at a G half note. Last four measures of the song. One, two, red say, and go. <laughs> Do it again, same thing. Last four measures of the song. Red, C, and go. One, T, two, T, three, T, four, T, one, T, off. Now go back up to the first line and do the last four measures of that line. Similar, not the same. Okay? Last four measures of the first line. Don't forget left naturals. One, two, red, C, and go. Okay, we're going to play it from the beginning to end. If you're ready, if not, pause it and practice. If you were a face-to-face -face student, if you were in my class face-to-face, -face, what would happen at this point, I would say, okay, take two minutes to practice on your own, and then we play it together as a class. So a good thing for you to do right now would be pause it, work out your own problems, come back, and join me. If you're ready, play with me, beginning to end. One, two, beginning, and go.
So if you need to, rewind it, try it again. If, if you're ready to move on, great. Be ready for your next video by practicing that one so much that you can't get it wrong.